All right, hello and welcome to your lab for the week. This one's not too bad. It's on files. So we're going to read files and then also uh, do some cool things with a library that I made for you. All right, so the first part, of course, is getting all the code. It should all look like this. And uh, you are experts at that by now. The next part is to count the words. OK, so what I'd like you to do is implement this countwords.cpp program. OK, it's going to take two command line arguments, two command line parameters, we can say, uh, the name of the file to open, and also the word to search for. So you're going to run it like this, dot slash count words, then the name of the file that you want to open and search for the word in, and then the word itself. All right, so it's going to look like that. So for example, let's count how many times Shakespeare says thou, OK? How many times he says thee as well. And uh, the important thing is that the word has nothing to do with capitalization. You're going to get rid of all the capitals, OK? That should not matter, all right? So those examples should hopefully make sense. This is what your, your program should be outputting. And here is countwords.cpp. So uh, here's what you're going to do. You're going to open the file. Its name is an argv1. You're going to get the string to search for. It's going to be an argv2. And then you're going to count how many times that word appears, yeah? you are going to uh, then do the rest of the real work, right? You got to search through the file, see if you found the string to search for, etc. Uh, what you want to do though is clean up a string because I want you to count all the strings that don't have spaces around them, that don't have like punctuation, that don't have capitals, okay? Everybody should be the same, okay? This is the idea. So you're going to want to make this function, uh, expand this function, make it work, uh, make it alter the string that's being given to you because it's a reference parameter. Okay, you're going to want to convert it to lowercase. Okay, so that it'll make it so that the is the same as all of these: the with a period, the with an exclamation point at the start, all capitals, the zero, the. They should all get returned back, or sorry, set to the lowercase, okay? And this is how you'll be able to count the exactly like that, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So you're going to want to implement this to fix up the string so that uh, you can count it more easily because capital the should be the same as lowercase the, the with a period at the end should be the same as lowercase the, yeah? And that's how you can use, uh, you can then just start comparing for equality, just be like equals equals, and you'll get strings that are the same now. Okay, so that should be your implementation, and that should be that. Okay, next, next the fun one with uh, more images. So you remember etch a sketches? You like turn these little knobs and it draws the picture for you. So I've kind of made like an etch a sketch library for you already. It's it's here. It's in etch a sketch.h and etch a sketch.cpp. It simulates an etch a sketch. You do not have to change a piece of it. Okay. You just have to use it. Here's the idea. This is how you use it. You don't even have to look at the .cpp file if you don't want to. This is how you use it. You start your Etch-a-Sketch with a certain uh, character that you want to use. Star is the default. You can, you can use a different one. You have to make an Etch-a-Sketch object like this using the constructor. And then you want to move the Etch-a-Sketch in a direction to draw its little stars, right? Or whatever character you choose. You can move it up, right, uh, left, right, up and down. And then at the very end, once you're done, you can get your beautiful image that you made using left, right, up, and down, OK? Using this git art artwork method, which returns to you back the string that you've been building up, this beautiful picture that, you're be that you've been drawing, OK? That's the idea. So uh, yeah, you have to use the constructor, these methods, and the git artwork, artwork method. Uh, and I want you to use it in this read and draw.cpp file. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to read a file in the command line argument one and use that file to control the etch a sketch object. So I've made a bunch of files already, and you can make more if you'd like. All these input files. It just like says R, U, L, and D a bunch of times. And this, these are the commands to the etch a sketch. It's like go left one, two, three, four, five times, then go up one, two, three, four five, six times. Okay, then go right. This is going to command your Etch-a-Sketch. Okay, you're going to have to read this and have it command the Etch-a-Sketch to go in those directions. 
All right, so that's what you need to do. You need to create an extra sketch object and manipulate it using those commands, those little L's and R's, U's and D's from the file. Okay, so you're gonna have to read until the end of the file. So uh, compile like this, and this is what should happen when you run it on input one. Apparently, I have, I took so much time to make this so that when you use it on the Etch-a-Sketch object, it draws high. Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, that's what it should look like. So you just need to change this. Uh, sorry, it's read and draw to to do all these things. Open up the file, create the Etch-a-Sketch object read it and move the Etch-a-Sketch and then print your pretty drawing to see out. Yeah? So that should all make sense. Just get it to look like this and that that is that is the goal. Uh, it's a very large frame and so it's going to print out a lot when you print out the uh, the results. So don't be worried that high is way up here and like your your new terminal prompt is way down here. That's not an issue. Okay? So that is what it should all look like and uh, there are other pretty pictures that I made for you in the other input files. Okay, so uh, after that, you're ready to submit your code, just the implementation files that you touch, so countwords.cpp and readanddraw.cpp. Those are all the things that you need to submit, and yeah, that's about it. Shouldn't be too bad this week. Uh, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, here's the rubric, and I think we are good. So yeah, I will see you next week.